Uh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on Nex and XT4 of Breakout Wave 2 from Summer 2012, of course. So on the front of the bags, you see uh, the two logos and that interesting theme likely you've seen with Wave 1, but instead the top part is in gold rather than silver, probably to differentiate the what it was, of course. So you see a picture of the sets that come within and probably behind some flamey warehouse, kind of similar to Ordeal of Fire or whatever. And as you see, you need some caution tape with the name on it, 200 game points for the online game, and a little choking hazard there, and the age recommendation, uh, set numbers, and amount of pieces, both 39 pieces. And on the back, you see an alternate pictures of the sets and actual sizes of the heads and helmets, and also uh, how to use the game points for the online game and all the usual warnings and everything. And so now onto the manuals, of which same pictures as on the front of the bags and everything. Like one page open, you see. How do you get to the online game, of course. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then add of Lego Club, add for HeroFactory.com, add of the combination model that they could make. And then add of Stringer and Voltix, of which next, next, throwback Thursday, of course. And the piece is included. And the last step for him. And then both in Core Hunter, of course. So to start out with is uh, Nex, oh, which third version of Nex, and also last appearance of Nex we ever got to see, which kind of odd and unfortunate, but yeah. Which, as you see, kind of some pulling, quite not much going for him, like. As you can see, the feet, just orange feet like last two versions had, and also instead of just orange, he's large amount of orange and white, of course. Quite nice color scheme, of course. Just even though Next 2.0 kind of did, of course. But also, interesting thing is, if remember Nitro Blast in uh, uh, Ordeal of Fire Wave that had this color for the limb piece, he has a whole lot more of that. Well, XD4 also does, which we'll go over later. And of course, like most of the heroes in this wave is on the side of which a little holster for the cuffs, of course. And as for his chest plate of which, which is the usual chest plate piece for breakout, but in white, and also with these orange, uh, 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 mother chip things or motherboard prints to it. Kind of nice and all, but unless if you were able to cover that with some other pieces, of course. And so for the arms of which, as you can see, oh, also the core, hero core piece, which quite small, like the other sets that do. And kind of annoying is that. All of the heroes all have these, and a lot smaller than the previous hero cores. And also, in with, whereas with both Breakout and Brain Attack, also the villain sets come with it, but for a special reason. Is on the back of those is a code that you enter to there. But yeah. And so now to the arms, which kind of, which do have the kind of smallish, smaller limb pieces to them. Of course, and also through three length armor piece with a little minifigure harpoon there, probably to be an antenna of some kind. And so, for next hero, which as you can see, just like Breeze in Breakout also did, is 
have an actual handpiece for on the launcher rather than just the usual one, which is quite nice, great for that. And also, as you can see, has the new uh, launcher piece in orange, like we saw on Thorn Racks, of course, and, and of course, you can launch it like so. And then as for the other armor, which kind of is the same, but also with this new add-on piece of which kind of similar to the spherical ones in the first wave of which, but instead it's just more squared out and whatnot. And kind of interesting is that since the Marvel figures were out in spring of 2012 and these of which were in summer of 20, later or summer 2012. So they first appeared on Captain America in the wave, but then made over to this, and so a few others after, of course, but also nice to have here, of course, and also to get that engine piece like we've seen on the villains in the fire wave, ordeal of fire of that, but interesting to still see it here, and as you see, has the two piece that Meltdown and Toxic Reaper both had, but also connected to his back, of course, and it's connected to that, and has the antenna representing intense laser or something and as for the helmet which it has the Eagletorian headpiece but in trans green just kind of same as with like split face and rock and black phantom had but yeah and as for this helmet piece of which pretty much about quite similar to that of next 2.0s but instead it's one single piece rather than two separate pieces kind of interesting and of course nice molding on top of it and single connection to it just like Rocket and Evo both had and for the back of which has the still has the narrower torso piece just like next 2.0 had but also should have the extra ball joint torso bit and, and use that on breeze but whatever also not at all any back coverage piece or back coverage probably for the sake of the tube but, but although I think the, it could have worked with the tube or I mean really would have but I'm sure you could figure that out to yourself but yeah and I guess that is it with next and now on to XT4 oh it's quite interesting for a smaller villain set of this wave of course and as you see, it has the forearm thing, just like we had with Waspix in the year prior, of course. And whereas for his legs, a witch, you see, you get a whole lot of these upper moon pieces in light gray, right? which is good for mocking, of course, and also do get the other ones also in that color as well. And also the size 6 armor pieces in black. Like kind of like we saw in previous sets, and also get the foot pieces from the Ben 10 sets in yellow, oh, which also nice to have. And where and also uh, if I take off this armor piece, then then he which first ever one to use this smaller torso piece, which they later used with like a couple other sets, but mostly all of the protector sets and element creatures in generation 2 bonacle of course so he which was well remembered for that and so for the arms of which that two of which are kind of the same but where two of which have these savage planet blades on the top so of course and this armor which and of course the other two that do connect to these black tubes that go into his chest which, as you see, this one of which holds a saw blade that spins like so, and the other of which has this, a common system piece on it. And with the Savage Plant claws on the sides and an orange antenna also being a laser, since I guess it's kind of an equaled out match of him and Nex, of course. And as for the head of which, which is kind of similar to that of Meltdown's but instead of being like 
three separate pieces, it's one whole piece for that. Although, it, not sure why it positioned the fault socket in this kind of way when it could have been better in the other way, which... And in terms of articulation, it has quite a good, quite a lot, a whole lot of it. Well, even though the tubes kind of get in the way. But although, I think a little bit more yellow armory could have been nice on the upper arms, but I think that's just me. And, or maybe also another armor, yellow armor piece on the back also could have worked out. But uh, whatever. Oh, and also, if you can and handcuff him with Nexus cups, of course. And yes, yeah, you can. Yeah, Nexus caught and cuffed him. Cuffed him. And so, for the final verdict. So now, on to the final verdict. Overall, I think they of which were pretty cool sets for the time. Like, get plenty of interesting new pieces and a few good recolors, uh, obviously. And all of next of which, this being maybe being his last appearance, and also, and also being quite similar to next two point of which, but at least he did good bit. At least he's a good little bit different than the previous version. XT four of which, quite interesting new design to him, like we ever seen in that. But of course this which when designs were starting to get a little different and better or of course and yeah. But although I'm sure you can some of you mockists can figure out how to make uh brick brain attack and invasion from below versions of Nex and Stringer too and yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day. Well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.